This is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. We are featuring a steel drum sample along with an accompanying accordion for the song Kokomo from the group Beach Boys. This is an unusual song and one that would be hard to duplicate because there is no built-in steel drum sample on the Nord website. You have to make your own. I've done that for you here and I make it available on my Patreon site. Feel free to join me now on the Beach Boys song Kokomo. So this is the part of the video where we get a little technical. We're going to talk about the two sounds that we're using, the accordion and the steel drums. I'll show you how to set it up here on the Nord Stage 4. Keep in mind, if you own a keyboard other than a Nord Stage 4, such as a Nord Stage 2 or 3, an Electro Series, let's say the Electro 5, Electro 6, or the Wave 2, all of those keyboards I just mentioned all can play samples. And I make this sample available for download on my Patreon site. You'll have the ability to download the actual steel drum sample which is what you'll need, and this is the thing that I created from scratch, and I'll talk about that here in just a minute. If, however, you own a Stage 4, I'll make the completed program here with the name Kokomo, along with the split and the accordion and the steel drums. Okay, so let's get started on the setup on this. I am using a Nord Stage 4, as I already mentioned. I am splitting the keyboard right here at this split point which happens to be F4. On the left side, I have an accordion at about half volume, just a little bit more than half volume. The accordion I'm using for this is actually built into the Nord Stage 4, and it is available for download on the Nord website. You may not get this exact one. This is the Victorini Accordion 1, which sounds nice, but you have to diminish the volume quite a bit so that the steel drums, at least on this song, are the dominant sound. And so I have the steel drums on the right side on layer A here. Now the raw sample by itself has some tweaking that needs to happen in order for you to hear it the way you hear it now. I've added some reverb and I also added a bit of release, a 2.67. If you make your release too short, you get the raw sample sound. And if you let go during the release, obviously it swallows it up. Now, if you hold the note, you'll hear the decay that's built into the sample directly. So you won't need to adjust the decay on your envelope. This is your amp envelope we're talking about. Leave the decay at full. This is called infinity here on the stage four, but on the stage three, it's called sus or sustain. It's all the, basically it's the decay sustain knob all the way to the right. But you'll need to give it some release and it really doesn't matter. I'd give it at least a second. If you give it more, it doesn't matter because I built a natural release into that sample. In other words, the decay takes over and whether you hold it or let go, it's going to be the same. So just put your sustain to full and your release to something one second or more. And then a little reverb and you're good to go. You can feel free to tweak the EQ if you want, um, but I don't think it's necessary and I have not done that here. Okay, so I do, though, use the bright setting, which is uh, unique here to the Nord Stage 4. It's a setting that brightens the sample a touch. You can barely hear it here because when I made this sample, I think I made it kind of bright to begin with. All right, so that's the steel drum sample. Again, you can download that from the Patreon page, and you would have to infuse that in an existing program on your keyboard, on your Nord keyboard. The sample by itself, you have to load it into another program. So... Hopefully by now you know how to work with samples either from the Nord website or homemade ones like the one I'm talking about here. But feel free to use this steel drum to your heart's content. Just a little background history. I made a video about five or six years ago talking about me actually sampling an actual steel drum. And although that's the real deal, it was a real steel drum and it became a real sample and you can't get any more real than that, right? The thing is that steel drum, like a lot of steel drums, wasn't completely in tune. So what ends up happening is there's a little bit of movement in the notes and they don't sound all that perfect. I mean, it's natural and it's a real steel drum, but steel drums need to be tuned. This one had a little bit of tuning issues, which I did tweak when I made the sample. But in the end, I ended up using this sample, which is directly from a Roland keyboard. 
which is a sample that came in the early, uh, late 80s, 90s. They've, Roland has had this steel drum sample forever. It's in their old keyboards. I don't know what they're delivering nowadays. But that was the sample I always used to use. Why? Because the volume is consistent, the notes are consistent, the tuning is consistent, which actually ends up working better in a band environment, in my opinion, uh, because you don't want the the natural detuning, at least I don't, for the steel drum. So this steel drum that you're hearing, this new and improved one, actually comes from a Roland keyboard, and that's fine. At least I think it's fine. I don't know what the people at Roland think, but here in Nordland, this is good stuff for us because we don't have the ability to do this sample from the Nord website at all. I mean, there is no steel drum sample. Ever since I've been working with Nord keyboards, I've yet to see one pop up. You might find a steel drum sample on the Nord user forum, however, there are occasions where people do post those. Okay, so that's it. Now together, uh, the way the, the figure goes, it starts here. And then this goes to a chord just to hold it. And then I'm playing this with the first finger and the fifth finger at first because that's easy to get to. See, it's a natural thing. But I think you could easily do this. I think it's easier to play fast like that with your thumb and your middle finger. It really depends on what your skill level is and how you play trills. I mean, when we learn trills, I think most people do the trills with the thumb and the index finger. But this is a little bit further away, and the further away you get, the more awkward it becomes to do a, f a thumb and an index finger. I think instead, I would rather do the middle finger or even the fourth finger, depending on the, the width of that. So that's what I'm doing. And it just sort of climbs down and goes to a chord here, the left hand. It's always two notes in the right hand. And it's always two notes because that sounds authentic, and it's authentic because a steel drum player has two mallets. And if you start using three notes, it doesn't sound right, or I guess you could sort of use your imagination and say, well, there's two steel drum players, so it, there's more notes going on. There's some great things you can do, though. You can double, and you can do these half steps. And grace notes also work really well on a steel drum. And then the only reason we're using the accordion is that's what I hear happening in this song. And it's quite diminished. It's just enough to hold that background. You could bring it louder, I suppose. And it becomes a little bit too much. At least it doesn't sound like that on the album, but I think if you were making your own music, you could bring up that accordion a bit and hold those chords down. Okay, so that's it. Like I said, look at the description below this video if you want to go to the Patreon listing where we actually have the downloadable sample for your Nord keyboard. I will make the Nord Stage 4 complete program available. It'll be a bundle so that you can have the Kokomo sound, the split already built in, the proper accordion, and the proper steel drums with all the tweaking here. So you can just, good to go. You won't have to do any programming. All right, thanks again for joining me on this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Come on.